Siemens busway systems are a safe and efficient way to power industrial, commercial, and institutional environments. For any application, joining busway should be simple and quick. This video covers assembly for indoor IP40 rated busway, as well as splash-proof IP55 and outdoor NEMA 3R busway. Throughout the installation, make sure you use the Centron installation and maintenance instructions for reference, beginning with section 9.0. Before you begin, you must follow all checkout and inspection procedures described in Section 2.0 and 3.0 of the Centron Installation and Maintenance Instruction. This includes conducting a MEGER test on each section of busway before installation. For this demonstration, trapeze hangers have already been installed. First, remove the two L-shaped end protectors from the end of the busway without a joint stack. Keep the four screws you remove because they'll be used later. The L-shaped end protectors can be discarded. On the end with a joint stack, remove the joint covers and the joint stack retainer. You can discard the joint stack retainer, but again, retain the screws for later. The busway can now be positioned on the trapeze hangers. Next, align the busway sections. Make sure the arrows on both sections point in the same direction. This ensures proper phasing of the busway. To make this process a little easier, you can loosen the joint bolts a few turns, but be sure the joint bolt and the joint nut stay together. For high amperage busway, slide the sections together with the Centron Busway Assembly Tool until the holes in the joint cover align with the holes in the joint support. For lighter amperage constructions, you can move these pieces together like this. Carefully align the edges of the joint stack with the edges of the housing and end ramps. Then, center the joint stack between the joint supports. For busway other than the IP40, pay special attention to be sure the gaskets on the underside of the end ramps are not damaged. Loosely fasten the remaining joint cover to the busway to confirm the joint is aligned properly. The mounting holes in the joint cover should line up with the threaded holes in the joint supports. Centron busway joints are adjustable to plus or minus 5 eighths of an inch, or 16 millimeters. The standard distance between the two joint supports is 8.25 inches, or 210 millimeters. If you need to make adjustments, remove the appropriate knockout tabs in each joint cover. Be sure the joint stack is centered if knockouts are removed. Now, with a 5 eighths inch socket wrench, tighten each double-headed joint bolt to 50 foot-pounds, or 68 newton meters, until the outer bolt head shears off. Ensure the joint nut is flush with the washer and not riding on the aluminum enclosure of the joint stack. When the red fluorescent joint bolt label detaches, remove and discard the bolt head and label. Finally, torque the joint cover bolts to 10 foot-pounds, or 14 newton meters. At this point, you may torque the loose bolts on the joint covers to 10 foot-pounds. This completes the assembly of the IP40 busway joint. Joint bolt torque will need to be verified to be equal to 50 foot-pounds or 68 newton meters upon completion of the entire busway assembly. Before you energize the busway, perform a MEGER test. Disconnect the busway from any line and load devices before testing. Minimum test readings should not be less than what you see here. If they are, please contact Siemens. This completes the commissioning process of the IP40 busway joint. For IP55 or NEMA 3R busway, you must remove one of the joint covers and install the joint bolt cover before installation is complete. Connect the grooves on the top plate of the joint stack and slide the cover across until it's centered. Remember, if gaskets are damaged at any time throughout this process, they must be replaced. You should now carefully install the gaskets that come with the waterproof parts kit onto the inside of the joint covers. Take special note that IP55 and NEMA 3R gasketed joint covers should be tightened to only 3 foot-pounds. Each joint area of 3R-type outdoor busway has 12 drain holes, 
two in each joint cover, and eight on the end ramps of the housings. These holes are sealed with plastic plugs from the factory. Leave them intact until the busway is installed. For horizontal joints, remove the two lower drain hole plugs from the end ramps of each busway section. This is four total plugs per joint. Do not remove any other drain holes. For edge joints, remove the two drain hole plugs from the lowermost joint cover only. Do not remove drain hole plugs from vertical busway joints. Fittings are treated like straight sections unless a fitting has joints installed in different orientations, such as one horizontal and one vertical. Remove the drain hole plugs at each joint depending on its orientation. The same commissioning procedure of checking joint bolt torque and performing a Megger test on the isolated busway run must now be completed for the NEMA 3R installation. This procedure is identical to the IP40 joint. Assembly is now complete for the IP55 and NEMA 3R products. We hope you found it easy and efficient. If you have any questions or need further assistance at any time while using Siemens Busway Systems, please refer to the Storage, Installation, and Maintenance Instructions or visit usa.siemens.com busway.